A motion to suppress is a written request to a judge to throw out evidence that the government plans to use against you. Evidence such as incriminating statements or physical evidence like drugs or guns. Anything that was obtained in violation of your Fourth Amendment right to be free from unreasonable searches and seizures or your Fifth Amendment right to not incriminate yourself. A grant in motion to suppress can dramatically change the strength or weakness of any criminal case. You have a Fourth Amendment right to be free from unreasonable searches and seizures, and you have a Fifth Amendment right to not incriminate yourself. When property or statements or evidence is obtained in violation of those constitutional rights, your attorney can file a motion to suppress, and the judge has to determine whether the government acted reasonably. The prosecuting attorney will call witnesses, sometimes only one witness, the investigating police officer, to testify. Your criminal defense attorney would then cross-examine those witnesses. Your attorney could call witnesses of your own and present evidence if you have any. The judge would then look at all of the facts, look at all of the evidence, look at the case law, and decide whether to grant or deny the motion. If the judge grants the motion to suppress, that evidence would not be able to use, be used in the criminal case against you. If the judge denies the motion to suppress, that evidence would be able to come in to the case and to the trial and would be able to be used against you. Either side can appeal the judge's ruling.